This is the Space Palette Pro, and you interact with it with your fingers using these amazing Sensil Morph pads that are pressure sensitive and multi touch. I keep looking for new technologies and then brainstorm about what they can be used for. So I've got four morphs here. Each morph is a different sound and a different graphic. You're finger painting both of them. The X direction is pitch, so low notes, high notes on the right, low notes on the left. If you're down toward the bottom of the pad, it's quantizing the notes to quarter notes. If you're in the middle, eighth notes, and at the top, sixteenth notes. So if you just wave your fingers, you get a nice variety of timing. Uh, but once you know how that, I call them time frets. Pressure gets converted to MIDI modulation. And graphically, your finger painting, X and Y are pretty obvious. And the pressure of your fingers controls the size of the graphics. The visuals are not derived from the music. Your fingers are doing the visuals directly and doing the music directly. The industry seems to be very narrowly focused on buttons and sliders and different configurations of those, but they aren't creating new instruments that have new methods of interacting and being expressive. I wrote a programming language called KeyKit that then let me develop new tools and instruments uh, quite easily. And then I started using these PlayStation dance pads as triggers. One performance, I had a wireless QWERTY keyboard hung around my neck, so I'm typing on this keyboard while I'm dancing on these dance pads. But then the, the thing that really sent me off the deep end was the, the Fingerworks Eye Gesture pad. That introduced me to the magic of three-dimensional input. The area of the finger was the third dimension. When Apple bought Fingerworks to get some of their iPhone multi-touch technology, nobody could buy them anymore. So at that point, I was wondering what to do. And then the Microsoft Connect came out. That could be used to do a three-dimensional interface in midair. So I started experimenting with that. So ever since then, I've been chasing three-dimensional input devices, of which the Sensor Morph is the latest phenomenal example. It's very natural for software instruments to expand the capability of, of, of a single person. Pretty much everything I do now combines visual and musical things, and it's really important for there to be an obvious correlation between your fingers and the output. With a casual instrument, you're both the audience and the player. So the computer is a unique collaborator in the composition and performance process. <laughs>